half x equals 2x. I solved it! So Gordo Bari skipped the 5th, 6th, 7th, 10th, and 11th grades, which I guess is impressive if you're easily impressed. Do you need a bow tie to be a physicist? No. All you need is perseverance, hard work, and a dream of becoming Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. But if you want to be a fancy-looking physicist, then you need a bow tie. <laughs> he took the SAT when he was 11 and scored at 1,500. Big deal. That's basically what I got, rounded to the nearest 1,500. Then, after graduating high school in two years, Suborno got accepted into NYU for math and physics. You're so inspirational. We want you to have a great first semester. It's no Harvard, but yeah, good for him, I guess. I was a political science major at UC Davis, not trying to brag. So now, he's 13 years old and entering his sophomore year at NYU. Is he a math genius? I don't know. But he's definitely 13 years old. I started reading the news, I guess, when I was 11 and a half. So you're saying about a year and a half ago? Yeah. So this whole interview wasn't my idea, but my team thought it'd be fun and cool for me to sit down with Suborno because I guess they think I could learn something from him. Can I ask you for your advice on something? You can't rely on me to give great advice. Do you believe in destiny? Did you see Interstellar when Matthew McConaughey didn't age? What happened there? How do I use math and science to deprogram him? What's 78 times 265? Oh, is that narcissism? What would a four-dimensional object look like? What's your problem? <laughs> Why is everything changing but my dad? Is free will an illusion? How are you doing this? How does he talk through the bookshelf? How do you feel about those haters? How does gravity bend time around? How do you know if someone likes you, likes you? I have no idea, dude.